In this video, let's learn about the next topic in option bar, which is called as width and height options. So basically, width and height options are used to type in the parameters of an object where you can similarly increase the size of an object or decrease the size of an object. And also using this width and height options, you can increase the size of the object or decrease the size of the object by typing in the values such as meters or centimeters or any other units like inches. So let us see this one, how we can do practically. To see the practical working of width and height, first you need to select the object. Now after selecting the object, you can see width and height parameters in the option bar. So now, as similar as x and y, width and height also works for an object, where x and y moves the object, whereas width and height increases the size of the object. Once if I use the spinners, clicking above, you can see that the object gets increased in both the ways. Object gets increased in both the ways, that is towards left and right. Suppose if I am clicking down the spinner, you can see that the object gets reduced in left and right direction. Similarly with the height also. If I click on the above spinner, you can see that the object is increasing towards up and down and vice versa. That is how we can use this width and height parameters 